vibration reading for the Aquarian Sun Moon and Rising for the third week of November 2017 I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for your likes shares and support I want to say to each and every person out there this is going to be a week where you're going to have situation emotional situation but yet still um, a situation that you are going to kind of bring balance um, Saturday is your best day um, it's not one of those uh, extremely wonderful days but whatever is happening the energy of uh, you are going to be overcoming the situation emotion emotional balance are here um, for a lot of you okay so this week's begin from the 13th until the 19th of November and I want to say to each and every person um, um, please remember Thanksgiving is coming and I'm asking people to help um, with the homeless and um, to give whatever you have okay so let's look at your week to see what else is going to be happening a lot of dreams are going to be coming true um, wonderful situation and ideas are going to be happening four of cups you're going to be building with other people you're going to reach and justice which is extremely good and justice against um, people what is wonderful is that you have the energy of the eight of cups you're walking away from something and you're moving on towards a new love in your life okay so you are walking away from a situation and moving on to a new love in your life new love is coming in um, a lot of you are just leaving something behind leaving a situation or people behind in this week and new situation new love is coming in for you guys okay so thank you for supporting my channel thank you for being here and um, I want to say to each and every person whatever you send out to the universe that is what you receive please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and remember that this week is for the people who are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving and for also for everyone Christmas is coming up not everyone have everything and um, I'm asking you guys uh, to donate um, um, and I'm sending out a new videos um, to something I'm really supporting and I'm putting my hundred um, percent to support um, the homeless and support a church that is helping um, people giving them a roof over their head so that video is coming out so please remember to look for that video okay as we look in your week I am going to do the numbers of the week I'm guided to do the numbers of the week so it's going to be um, a very good so you have seven uh, a lot of new beginnings a lot of whatever um, that was as a trend spy. a lot of new beginnings are coming in um, the, a lot of new beginnings um, the number three energies are here what is what is so um, The page, the page of ones is bringing news about a song, a, a working together. So this is going to be good. You have the energy with the King of Pentacles. A lot of people, you have the Knight of Cups. Um, you have the Two of Cups, the situation with a relationship. You need um, to balance your emotions, your emotions, your um, emotion, whatever is going on. The news is coming about a. a, a some are working but the number trees is going to have an effect on you so you have three thirty three and three 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 hundred and thirty three and someone and um, there is someone who um, find us to be an um, a very strange number the three hundred and thirty three but nothing bad is going to happen could be because a lot of people are calling up on the 19th that the 19th of November something is going to happen and um, I, I really have to do a video about that but um, be careful on the 19th of November okay whatever is happening be careful um, on the 19th of November so you have three times three you Aquarians okay so we're moving forward 
we're looking at the Knight of Cups. The energy of the Knight of Cups is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion. And whoever this Knight of Cups is, he's go going to open up doors. Um, he, you know, um, this Knight of Cups could be dreaming about you acquiring women out there and men, depends on what you're vibrating with. And the energy of the Seven of Cups is actually someone is dreaming about you. He's seen multiple possibilities. He's seen, um, he's really dreaming about you. And um, it is someone who is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion. This man is not really a Casanova. He is coming at you. This man see possibility, endless possibility that you both could. Um, and he's dreaming of you. He's dreaming of uh, you know wonderful situations um, between you both, and it can happen. Um, it can happen. This person is really dreaming of uh, bringing something beautiful and wonderful um, between you two because new love is coming in. Remember, you're leaving something behind. So remember that you're leaving something behind, and new love is coming in, and this is going to be very positive so whatever is happening whatever you're leaving behind and especially this is um, emotional this is going to affect you emotionally so it could be a relationship or it could be something that you're leaving behind that you're thinking I no longer deserve that but whatever it is is a love relationship and it can be in a business aspect but it can for some people it's going to affect you in a business aspect for some people it's going to affect you in the aspect of an intim intimate relationship but this person can be friends Friends and give you the idea that he wants to be friends but he wants more out of this and he's dreaming of these all these different possibilities and he is uh, thinking about you all the time so there we go oh. as we look at Tuesday it's gonna be wonderful because whatever is happening you have the energy of the ace of Pentacles that is coming out the ace of Pentacles is that your financial situation is going to be wonderful it's going to be so positive whatever is happening you're going to see a lot of um, good things happening you're going to be connecting with soul people and um, the six of cups is connecting with um, um, soul people these are people from your own soul group and that sort of a thing this is going to be good because whatever is happening the ace of Pentacles is bringing in money to you and this is going to be good it can also have an effect on children that your kids are going to want to have money um, um, you know and need money for whatever situation or whatever is happening in their lives and you have to support your kids this can be an aspect of it but whatever is happening it has an effect on your family your family which include your kids or it has to do with a soul family that maybe someone of the past so you have lent money out to this money is returning to you and this is going to be good because some people really need it and it's going to be used um, in a good way a good fashion as we move on uh, we are looking at the middle of the week and the middle of the week we have the Empress she's upright so this is good whatever your materialistic needs are in this week it's going to be balanced out because you have the energy of the princess of Pentacles and the energy of the princess of Pentacles these are two good energies because if it is a Capricorn person she is going to help you to bring forth a lot of abundancy in your life it can be a Capricorn a Virgo or a Taurus but whoever these people are and especially if it's a Capricorn person she's going to help you to open up doors of opportunities that you weren't aware of and she's going to really um, help you to move um, mountains and build something new and wonderful in your life so this is going to be good so whoever you will be meeting someone who's a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn know that this person is going to help you to build your financial structure in your life and this is going to be positive as we move on and as we look on and we move on we are going to look at the energy that is coming up on 
Thursday and I'm realizing that this year the energy of Thursday you have the two of cups another emotional situation and you have the four of cups the two of cups and the four of cups and what this is saying is that some of you will have situation to deal with the water sign people um, if you're in a relationship with someone who is a Pisces um, a cancer or a or a scorpion you are going to be connecting with the water sign people and you're going to they're going to teach you how you can balance your emotion and this is going to be extremely good whoever these people are they want to do something for you because um, they're feeling a very strong connection you can see this um, in the beginning of the week and this is that you're leaving something behind and starting out a new journey with someone new or something new and this is good because it's all about love in this week because if you look at the energy in this week it is so much all about love and you're trying to balance your emotional self and trying to find yourself in relationships and what is it in relationship that you're looking for and this is going to be very very positive as we move forward we have the energy vibration on Friday of a, a message coming in so if you are looking for work um, the page of ones is bringing a message to say that there is a possibility of a new sum working of a new connection in work so for the people who are looking for work or looking for a new promotion there will be something coming in on Friday on Friday there is a message coming in um, to let you know that the possibility does exist and you are going to be connecting in a positive new environment with a good positive people and this is going to be you see you have the situation of work um, you're going to be working together with people and this is going to be positive so whatever that is going on here it is um, really positive because uh, um, whoever this Taurus person in uh, that you're going to meet Taurus Virgo or Capricorn they are going to be connecting you with good situation and good work situation and that is going to bring you um, a good positive materialistic uh, um, situation and uh, um, you're going to have a balance so work uh, for the people who are looking for work it's going to happen they're going to be connecting you with a uh, certain people a certain group of people this is going to be good if you are looking to find a new house in this week or um, that sort of a thing you're going to be meeting and whoever this um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is they're going to be playing um, a role in you Aquarians life in this week because they are going to be helping you with work situation which is good and um, you know when you have work you have a, a financial stability and with that financial stability you can um, support yourself and this is going to be good okay as we look at the weekend Saturday is a wonderful day for you guys um, you this is the best day for you guys because um, you have the balance of uh, the hair energy which is good you have the justice and you have the five of swords so whatever injustice that has taken place whatever this injustice that has taken place in your life justice has come in and this justice is going to help you you also have the sign of the number eight the infinity so um, the energy of justice is going to bring you financial abundance in ways that you weren't expecting it but it's going to come in positive positive ways so this is going to be good on Sunday we have another earth energies because the earth energy seems to be helping you on Sunday you have the king of Pentacles the king of Pentacles this could be someone father the Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn who you have to deal with and um, this could be a brother or or you know someone because this is the prince of one so these two people together could be creating and let me see what these two people together are doing because obviously um, these two people are are here and I need to know what are these two people what effect because one is the father and um, 
it's 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 good because the energy of the father what is the prince of wands is doing prince of wands has to do with your works so for some people um and let me um, the Prince of Wands has to do with your work. There's something about your work. If it's not your work, but first look at um, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles could be your father, and this person, you know, he's bringing in um, something wonderful and saying something wonderful, and he's he's happy. He's um, he's celebrating you. Um, it doesn't have to be your birthday. It could something um, very significant happening in your life, and your father came in to celebrate you. And I want to say, you know, this is good, when, especially when there's a situation with your father coming in to celebrate you, and um, you know, saying that he's proud of you, and you know, you have come on uh, uh, such a long journey, and uh, he's very proud of you. Okay, it could be also that your um, partner because it's the week of the lovers it could be that your partner who is someone who's a Taurus a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn who is um, bringing you lots of love and this is a spiritual connection because you have the energy of the number nine the energy of the number nine is always a soul family or um, someone who has passed over in the spirit world number nine is always speaking about the spirit world and that person is coming forward to say I am so grateful this is so wonderful I am so I'm, I'm bringing you flowers and I'm bringing you love and I want to say how proud I am and this is wonderful I'm sorry I'm getting weepy and um, for the people who are going to have the energy of the princess the prince of ones the prince of ones is someone who's an Aries um, a Leo or a Sagittarius um, this is someone that has a connection with work and um, this person you know um, it could be that you're going to meet this person for some people it could be that it's someone who you work with I need to know what is going on here with because it has to do with work the energy of the Fox and it can be someone who is deceiving you who's cunning and is deceiving you the ten of cups no it's someone who is good um the energy of the ten of cups comes out so for the people who are going to be dealing with the energy of the um, Prince of one this could be someone who um, works with you or study with you or is in close connection of um, with you but it has to do with work because the energy of the Fox is always your job is always work especially in this deck and this card deck the energy of the Fox is always um, work but it can also be very cunning but in this sense and um, this person is not being cunning this person is looking at you and see how far you have come to. And the energy of the Ten of Cups is here, which is, you know, I salute you for what you have done and how far you have come because, you know, you have overcome obstacles that no normal person in this lifetime could have overcome. And this person has great admire and great respect for you. So whatever is happening, someone is going to come forward to show you that in this week. So you know for you Aquarians this is a very very good reading this is really a positive reading because love is going to be so prominent and the number three energies um, three 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 remember um, there is a lot of stories that is going around going around about things that will be happening on the 19 I'm asking each and every person um, a catastrophe uh, something that is going to affect the planet that is going to happen on the 19 and I'm asking each and every person to be careful on the 19 and um, from now you can just ask um, for a lesser strength of whatever is going to happen because obviously something is going to happen on this planet um, this is a wonderful reading because love is going to be so prominent a lot of you women are going to be connecting with um, the energy of um, a lot of you women are going to be connecting with the energy of the Knight of Cups, which is an um, Pisces, a Cancer, 
or a scorpion person and this is going to be wonderful some of you are going to be um, receiving money that you have lent out it could be from family people or um, a family situation where money comes free to you um, because it's coming back to you it's coming back to you and um, a lot of you are going to have assistance from the earth sign people that is the Virgo the Taurus and as a Capricorn so let's see what is happening I'm using color Barrett um, and you have the energy of the Empress and Empress for you guys it's a wonderful situation because what is happening is that Empress energy has been coming up for a lot of signs um, the energy of the Empress is as if it is not really her um, her week and it's not an her week but the energy of the Empress is here helping a lot of signs out so let's see and um, work is going to be very good for you guys whatever work or business aspect is going to be very good the Empress is fertility so please remember whenever the Empress comes up twice and so in a reading it has to do with fertility be aware if you didn't want to get pregnant you don't want to get pregnant be aware of this this is a wonderful time to give birth to new ideas and experience it is also a time of rebirth okay so this week for you guys is going to be a wonderful time of rebirth nurturing is assuring as you step into a new version of yourself your life is rich and ripe with possibilities that you can't manifest and could not create on your own you are a powerful co-creator and life loves you right now your world is a beaming with potential and infinity possibilities that will manifest for the highest good and this is a wonderful wonderful energy that's super good for you guys there is also another energy the abundance <laughs> apparently that this week has something to do with a lot of abundance for a lot of people because I see you guys have the ace of Pentacles and for you guys you have power of prior so the power of prior and it says give the situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles heaven unlimited resources love and answers are awaiting your prayers be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prior so if you need something you need to understand that your acts in the universe acts the universal angels and guide for whatever it is that you need because the source of all things always listen your guides and angels and the source of all things always listen and always deliver what you're asking I want to say to each and every one of you out there thank you for being here thank you for being back and namaste until next week